All right, welcome to the lab. Take a look, we have a new project just made its way in here. 1978 Bally Playboy. Uh, remarkable, nice back glass. The cabinet is severely um, uh, faded and weathered and just, it just needs a lot of TLC. Um, got to do a little dusting. Has four legs and one of the feet are missing its uh, leveler. Um, beat play fill. Somebody got in there and touched that up. I'll uh, insert what it's supposed to look like. Um, you can see how much fade there is on this cabinet. That's the original Bally uh, Playboy, what is that, like a magenta? And it's faded out to this, uh, what is it, like almost a tan. Um, nice looking coin door. I guess it's complete, uh, the machine, other than the uh, coin door lock. Uh, I did have uh, mechs in it, but they were uh, tokens. Look down inside, did I see anything? It's all complete, so that's huge. Together. Um, boards are in there, the transformer, rectifier board. Let's uh, pan up and take a look at this uh, play field here, upside down. I think the plastics look like they're in pretty decent shape. Um, looks like we have the wrong drop target in the center. Pretty excited about this one. I have some tricks up my sleeve I'm going to do with this game. I've already got a basic plan. I have a custom song already made for it that's gonna go along with the uh, original uh, Bally sounds. Um, so let's slide over here and take a look. It came with a manual. The uh, Bally electronic uh, pinball games repair procedures. It's like, no one's ever touched them before. They're like brand new. These are the uh, token mechs, bolts. And uh, just take a quick look at what Mr. Pinball says. Bally. Playboy, December of 1978, uh, what is that, electronic and drop targets, asymmetrical play field, it was in all these publications, which you can look in the footnotes and find out, they made a whopping 18,250 of them, and in 2003, is that how old this is, um, 2003, it was valued at 925 bucks. Looking forward to getting this baby going. And uh, let's get her on its feet. Take a look inside. So we have the uh, Playboy now on its feet, back box on. All the cabling is still down in the hole there. And if you look, there's the two new uh, forward facing speakers, really small ones. Um, and the reason why I'm pretty sure this game did not work was 
Um, I see a web here and a cobweb up here, and there's also one here. So um, I'll remove all those, and then uh, I think it's gonna work just fine. Uh, yeah, just kidding. Um, the rectifier board here, we have some sort of hack here. Um, so probably the rectifier board needs to be looked at. And of course, we got the uh, leaking battery there that's always killing these boards. Um, the actual solenoid driver board looks pretty darn good, as does the soundboard. And so does the, uh, let me get some lighting here, the uh, um, lamp board. So um, I don't know about the male pins and probably the female pins such as these over here uh, will have to be addressed. But uh, I'll be doing that soon enough. First of all, I'm going to uh, pop this board off and uh, we'll see how bad this damage is. the back box of Playboy, you'll see that I brought in our Weebly board. Um, I borrowed this from our Future Spa, the um, original Dash 35 Valley board that was in here, uh, MPU. It was locked on and it needed a lot of work. I just wanted to get a quick test and we'll see how it boots up. And I also, since this was all janky, this uh, rectifier board, I just took the whole uh, transformer rectifier board out of our Knight Rider and I swapped it in. I've done no repinning at all, so probably need uh, new pins on some of the, um, uh, what do you call it, the females, um, connectors. But let's uh, bring a little power to it. Watch it boot up. So yeah, we have the track mode, some sounds. Um, you can see I got a lot of burned out lamps. Um, what else? I've seen the displays. We got, those are pretty nice ones there. Got some crusty looking ones there. A little burn on that one there. And this one I think is maybe the second worst one to this one. Um, starts a game. Pretty strong sounding flippers. Targets. Resetting, that's nice. Uh, switches. So you can see um, that some of the switches may or may not work. Let's see. And I think repinning will bring them back. Um, the grotto here, the switch is out. Um, That's a dead one. That's a dead one. Dead switch. So we have a few switches out. I'm gonna guess maybe eight. Just randomly guessing. A bunch of lamps. You look at that. Smoked. So um, I have the plastics off right now, but um, we're in game right now. You can see the display is looking pretty crusty. Um, boot and game. Let's see. Uh, it looks like the out hole switch as well is uh, faulty. So um, I imagine it's going to be the uh, play field switches here on the uh, MPU. Uh, we'll look into that and see uh, what condition they are. But uh, it's booting. So I just need a new. Uh, MPU and a rectifier board uh, and we'll be rocking and rolling.
So as we can see here, Playboy is in full um, attract mode, fully booting. Uh, it's all good to go. Um, I just solved a major issue that I was having with uh, eight switches. And um, let's see, the two in lanes, they're wired together, so they weren't uh, responding. The left out lane was not responding. This uh, switch here on this U-turn or, or left-hand turn, it wasn't working. Um, the grotto switch here was not working. The two upper thumper bumpers, their switches weren't working. And then finally, I believe the last one is the out hole would not work in game. And uh, the uh, business card to actually uh, clean the contacts of the switches that weren't working. And I also metered it. That wasn't an issue. What happened was, let's take a look inside the back box. On the MPU, this lower um, male pins connector, um, I could get it to make the switches work if I pulled on this connector. And it wasn't the, um, the, the male or female contacts. It was actually, I'd put a, a, a screw in here to su secure the board and it was grounding on this rail here. And so all I had to do was remove the screw, make sure it floated off of this rail here and all the switches worked. So um, I do have a brand new Weebly MPU coming and a brand new um, rectifier board uh, kit coming. It's about 200 bucks uh, today. Um, it's due sometime this afternoon. And I also have a Pinball Life order on, I believe, Friday coming. Um, that's going to give me some nice little surprises. So um, hopefully uh, make this ugly girl pretty and functioning again. So one other issue I noticed when I was working on the switches is when I tipped up the play field, uh, one of these inserts out here came out and the other one started to come out. And what happened was they'd, they'd fallen out before in the past. Oh yeah, let's check that out. You can see a little little dance in there. Um, somebody had taken, um, what is it, uh, masking tape, masked the edges of the insert and then jammed it back in there to hold it. Um, it held up, but I'm gonna fix that when I go through and clean up the play field. I haven't really done anything. I did put a little bit of Novus over here uh, just to see how much of this white powdery junk I could get off. And it's cleaning up pretty good. Um, first of all, I'm gonna get um, the game playing well and um, I'm gonna put the switch down in here and a switch in this, uh, the, the uh, in-lane feeder and we're gonna put a custom song in it. Um, got everything I need to do that, so that's where we are.